So the new things in Dawn of War 3, the standout is the super units, which are the largest units we've ever done in Dawn of War. So we've got an Imperial Knight that we showed off today, which is this 14 meter tall giant robot that just lays waste to the enemy. We've got a variety of new systems uh, under the hood as well. We've sort of taken the large army gameplay from Dawn of War 1 and the elite heroes from Dawn of War 2 and then modernized all that. So Dawn of War 3 is about a conflict between three factions, the Space Marines, the Orcs, and the Eldar that takes place on a mysterious planet called Acheron, where there's a rumor that there's a mythical, powerful weapon hidden on this planet and all three races are fighting over it. And then, of course, when they find the weapon, things go a little sideways for everyone. So the three factions, the three races, uh, all have different ways to play. The Space Marines are, uh, we call them the tip of the spear. They're all about concentrated firepower, sort of delivering it in a really powerful sort of one-two punch. Bringing large battlefields, the biggest battles we've ever had in Dawn of War was really important to us. That meant that we needed really sort of readable gameplay so that you could control all these units clashing against each other. Um, that led to, among other things, dividing between line units and your elite units, or a few special units that you choose before play and bring in to combat. The super elites are really the thing that excites me the most that we're showing off here at E3. They're the biggest, baddest units we've ever done. Uh, the Space Marine one is the Imperial Knight. We're showing off Solaria here, who's this giant 14 meter tall robot with twin Gatling cannons for arms and missiles on her back. I should say that they're not I win buttons, right? Like these, they're, they are powerful, but you do need to protect them. You need to work with them. So Solaria, for example, is weak against melee. So most of her weapons have a minimum range. So if the enemy can get in a lot of melee units, she can be in trouble. So we're gonna be revealing some more about the Space Marines online, and we're actually gonna be sharing the full E3 demo uh, playthrough video on YouTube and Twitch on June 24th. We will be releasing on PC in 2017.